A palindrome is a word, number, phrase, or other sequence of characters which reads the same backwards as forwards. The first palindrome was found as a graffito at Herculaneum, a city buried by ash in AD 79. This palindrome, called the Sata Square, consists of a sentence written in Latin, Sata Arepo Tenet Opera Rotas, which means, the sower Arepo holds with effort the wheels. It is remarkable for the fact that the first letters of each word form the first word, the second letters form the second word, and so forth. Hence, it can be arranged into a word square that reads in four different ways, horizontally or vertically from either top left to bottom right or bottom right to top left, and when laid out in sentence formation, you can clearly see the palindrome. Byzantine Greeks often inscribed the palindrome, wash thy sins, not only thy face, onto baptismal fonts. This practice continued in many churches in Western Europe. Obviously, its English translation isn't a palindrome. The first English palindromic sentence was coined by John Taylor in 1614, lewd did I live, and evil I did dwell. Though some may argue that the use of the ampersand was cheating. The word palindrome was introduced by Henry Peacham in 1638. It is derived from Greek roots, which in English mean again and direction. In English, there are dozens of palindrome words, such as I, Madam, and Deified, and names like Hannah, Bob, or Eve. Sentence length palindromes ignore capitalization, punctuation, and word boundaries. Doc note, I dissent. A fast never prevents a fatness, I diet on cod. There are also word unit palindromes, in which the unit of reversal is the word. For example, is it crazy how saying sentences backwards creates backwards sentences saying how crazy it is? There are date palindromes, number palindromes, phonetic palindromes. In the French language, there is a phrase which means a Slavic woman waltzes naked, which phonetically looks like this. Une slavals nu. There are musical palindromes, such as Joseph Haydn's Symphony No. 47 in G, which is nicknamed the palindrome. The world's longest palindromic word in everyday use, according to Guinness World Records, is the Finnish 19-letter word, which means a soapstone vendor. <laughs>